These one week old Labradoodle puppies have sure come a long way since we did their birth video last week. Just look at how vigorously they're all nursing and how strong. It's just amazing how much they have changed in just one week's time. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Nuys Labradoodles and today's video is going to be our week one update for the puppies from our Sweet Pea Litter. This litter is mini Australian Labradoodles, all of whom are chocolate in one form or another and in all sorts of really interesting patterns. So today we're going to go through each of the puppies, tell you about their weight gain, tell you what they've done over the past week and how they are today. We're also going to give you a little bit of an update on Ripple and how she's doing and just some general overall information about the litter. So let's just get started with Ripple first of all. You can see she's very relaxed, happily feeding them, and you'll notice she's panting. In all of our videos with our puppies, when it's early days like this, you will see that our mama Labradoodle is panting. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, their body temperature does increase because lactating is a lot of work. So that is her way of getting some heat out of her system. And also when the babies are really young like this, these puppies aren't able to regulate their body temperature at all. You can see that Ripple really is quite relaxed in that she just goes completely upside down to nurse them <laughs> and the puppies have to find uh, the milk bar on the other side now. But in any event, uh, when the puppies are this young, they're not able to regulate their body temperatures. So that's true for Labradoodle puppies and all, all puppies. And so we have the temperature in the whelping room here, nice and cozy warm. We have it up at 22 degrees. So 22 degrees is pretty warm for Ripple, um, but it's a comfortable temperature for the puppies. And when the puppies are at a comfortable temperature, they aren't all huddled together all the time. They do still stay really close to each other because the only things these puppies are interested in right now is sleeping, eating, and staying warm. That's it. There's nothing else in their lives that has any importance to them. So it's eat, sleep, and repeat. That's pretty much all they do right now. Now, of course, many other things are going on with them, which we'll get to in just a little while. So that's why Ripple is panting. Now Ripple is doing just great. She's full of energy. You would never know that she just had puppies at all. She's outside running after her ball and uh, just pretty much back to her usual self other than she's eating quite a bit more. So we feed her four times a day right now. And Ripple usually eats a 100% raw food diet. But now that she has the puppies, it's really important that she have a higher amount of carbohydrates in her diet. So we increase those carbohydrates by uh, giving her a special formula of kibble that is designed for the very high energy needs for a girl at the later stages of gestation and while lactating. And luckily Ripple likes it. So we just mix it all together with the kibble. She has only one supplement right now, which is a special special lactating mom dog uh, calcium supplement. It is properly formulated with various other minerals and vitamins so that the calcium is readily absorbed into her system. Because as you can imagine, there's a lot of drain on her calcium resources feeding these six little beautiful mini Labradoodle puppies. So that's where Ripple's at. Now for the puppies as a whole, they are doing great. As I said, mostly what they do right now is just eat, sleep, and repeat. But a lot of other things are actually going on that they're blissfully unaware of. So one of the things that you will see them doing is starting to move around. And when they're sleeping, you'll see them twitching quite often. And when they're twitching, lots of times we think, oh, they're having a dream or they're just doing a little something like that. But really what that is, is nature's way of having them develop their muscles and be able to exercise themselves while they're sleeping. Now, if only they could figure out how to do that for people, I would be in great shape, but it works really well. So they're doing all sorts of twitches and motions and moving around while they're sleeping in order to keep their bodies active and stimulate their muscles. Now, what we do to help the puppies at this stage is some neurological stimulation. And this is a really simple process. 
where we just give them the most minor of stress, which will be something like putting them upside down on their back for just a second or two and then putting them back. And now the reason for that is it is believed that that helps them develop a little bit more confidence as an adult puppy and to become more accustomed to minor things in their lives being a little bit different and being able to cope with them well. It all because what happens is when we do something like that of course they're immediately returned to us they're comforted and they're safe. The other thing we do with the puppies at this age is we spend a lot of time having them very close to our necks. That way when we're handling them, they're always smelling us. So they get to know our scent and that's how they know who we are. And this also gives them a great deal of comfort. And you'll see how gray collar boy here, as soon as he's up to my neck and sniffing me, he's relaxed right away because he's, oh yeah, okay, I know who that is. And then he also is able to feel the vibrations in my chest when I'm talking, even though he's not able to hear. So the puppies can't hear, they can't see, and they can't eliminate on their own yet, and they can't regulate their body temperature. So that's why they have that strong instinct to congregate together and to find ripple, because that's where they're warm all the time. And this little guy, we're going to start with him as we go through each of the puppies now. He is our firstborn, and this is Gray Collar Boy. And Gray Collar Boy is a chocolate phantom male. Now this puppy was a big puppy when he was born and held the process up for quite a while and gave uh, Ripple and I quite a bit of a scare. But he is now at 667 grams. This guy is doing fabulously. He has more than doubled his birth weight in the first week of being alive. And that is an incredible accomplishment. We're so proud of him. And I'll really Ripple takes all the credit for that because she's the one who's giving him all of his nourishment. So we'll just put Mr. Gray Collar back down there. And then the next puppy who was born is Miss Light Blue Collar. And she's over here. Hello, sweet girl. And Miss Light Blue Collar looks very similar to Mr. Gray Collar, except for she has quite a lot more, more white on her. Mr. Gray Collar does also have white. He has white on his chest and on his two hind feet. But this little lady has more white. She has more of a tuxedo style of marking. So that's where we have a lot of white on the chin, quite a lot on the chest and the tummy, and white on the face and going up onto the head. Now, if you, a uh, true tuxedo also has white up their paws, but this little lady is showing us signs of being a phantom, although I really suspect she's probably a sable. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, if she is a phantom, then she'll retain those points like she has. You can see she has the phantom points up above her eyes, alongside her mouth, and then on her paws. So maybe she is a phantom. We'll just, like I said, have to wait and see. Um, these two puppies, I suspect, may belong to smoochers because if you'll remember, this is a dual sired litter. We have two daddies in this litter. So that could mean that all the puppies belong to one of the boys, which are trip or smoochers, or a couple belong to one and the rest to the other. We just don't know yet. Uh, we'll do their paternity testing uh, when they're a little bit older. And the paternity testing is just a swab in their cheek and then we send it off to the lab in Spokane. Now right now, because of COVID-19, the results are taking a little longer. So we may not actually know who everybody's daddies are until uh, almost time for the puppies to go home. Um, the reason why we don't swab them right away is because you have to isolate the puppy for a minimum of an hour so that they aren't commingling with the other dogs and they're not nursing. Because that way we wouldn't have a true representation of their DNA. So that's why we have to wait until they're about four weeks old and they're comfortable being on their own for an hour and being swabbed and then sending the, the test results in. Now little Miss Light Blue Collar, she is 600 grams today. So she too is more than double her birth weight. Oh and Ripple says that she needs to reorganize herself or maybe she's just going to go and do something different other than hang out with the kids. She says that you've got the mum, you look after them. So that is, again, a fantastic weight gain. And obviously, a ripple is providing everyone with tons of nutrition. And oh, there's a little yawn for you. Now, the next puppy that was born in the litter is Mr. Green Collar Boy. 
And Mr. Green Collar Boy is our really handsome and very unique extreme party. And he is a caramel party. So you can see already he's got lots of good color on his ears there. And he does have another spot of color on his back. And every week you'll see this color getting a little bit darker. When caramels are first born like this, the coloring is usually quite pale. So uh, one of the families on our list who has uh, Ripple's brother, Wilson, he, when he was born, he also is a caramel party. He's not an extreme, but he's a, a caramel party. And his coloring didn't show up too much when he was just first born. But now he has beautiful, gorgeous coloring. And Mr. Green Collar here is at 538 grams. So again, just a huge amount of weight gain doing well really really just so proud of these puppies and how much they've grown so that's our mr green collar boy and then the next puppy who was born is miss navy collar now this um wilson's parents noticed right away that this little girl is navy collar girl for a specific reason and that's because she is so much like ripple and ripple's collar color when she was a puppy was also navy and this little beauty queen is a chocolate sable and she definitely is a sable and she may be what we call an invisible phantom. So Ripple is actually a phantom, but you don't see her phantom markings because she has the party. So her legs are white, so you don't see any of the phantom markings there or on her chest. And on her face, you'll see this little lady has her phantom markings there and above her eyebrow. But because she's also a sable color girl, you don't see them show up so much. So sable really trumps phantom uh, when you have a party like this. So they may be an invisible phantom, but you're not going to, uh, which means, of course, you can't really see the phantom colorings. So Miss Light Blue, or uh, not Light Blue, this is Miss Navy Collar Girl. She is 552 grams. And this little lady is a little bit independent. Quite often when we come in and see what the kids are up to, she'll be off just a little bit a ways away from everyone else on her own. Does that mean anything? No, probably not. But it is interesting. We do, these are things that we do take note of right from the beginning when the puppies have specific behavior patterns like that. Now, well, by next week, she may be the one who's in the center of the pack all the time. So that's our pretty little navy collar girl. We'll just put her down over here. And we'll put her in with everyone and see what she decides she wants to do. And then the next puppy born is Purple Collar Girl. Hello, sweetie. Now, Purple Collar Girl is a dark chocolate party. So this is another puppy that I suspect may belong to Smoochers. Smoochers is a dark chocolate, whereas Trip is a dilute chocolate. Now, that doesn't mean anything in terms of coloring. So I would guess off the top of my head that Navy Collar Girl belongs to Trip because of her coloring, because this is more of a dilute kind of color. But I could be completely wrong because both Smoochers and Trip can produce the exact same colors and the exact same patterns. Uh, the only one I would say for sure I know is Green Collar Boy belonging to Trip because he is an extreme and that's because both he and Ripple are party, whereas Smoochers only carries party. So if you have two parties together, quite often you end up with this extreme pattern whereas if you just have to, um, one carrying and, and one showing then you won't end up with the extreme you'll end up with something like this so that's my the basis for my thought that this little girl may belong to smoochers and she has that adorable half ear which her mama has although her mama's ear is actually three colors hers is the cute brown and white so this little purple collar girl is up to 510 grams already. So again, a really nice weight gain, nice and chubby, really doing well. No problems whatsoever with the health of these puppies. I can tell you that they're all little chub chubs. And last but not least, we have little yellow collar girl. At least I think yellow collar is a girl. I'm pretty sure she's a girl. Are you? Yes, you are a girl. And she too is a darker chocolate party. Hi, little baby. Oh, look at that nice big yawn. 
Now this little lady, she has a couple of hints of the phantom coloring as well over here on the side of her face. Now because she is white over her eyebrows and on her legs, she too could be an invisible phantom uh, and we just can't see those, those tan points. But again, time will tell and we'll see how everything goes. And she has a little bit of the two colored ear. She has about a one quarter white ear there. And she's the one that has this really cool tail where she has sort of like a roan appearance almost to it there. Usually on parties, the tail is a solid block of whatever the dark color is and then followed by the white tip. So Miss Yellow Collar Girl is 502 grams. So everyone has stayed exactly in their birth order for their weight uh, and they're all over 500 grams. Um, it's just like amazing that they're all doing so well. So that is all of the puppies. And that is pretty much their update for now. There's not a ton of things to tell you about each individual puppy yet, just because they are still developing their personalities. And really, I always like to say that until their eyes are open, we get an idea of what they're like, but we really don't know that much about them until their eyes open and their ears open and they have what we call sort of a second birth. But it's really fun right now to watch their colors develop. And you can see uh, quite a few of them already have that typical labradoodle posture of being upside down. Uh, one of the other things we do do with the puppies each day is we handle their feet. So we touch in between their toes and you can see how navy blue there, she was pulling her foot away from me a bit. So we make a note of that. And if somebody's a little bit fidgety about anything we do, then we do it an extra time. But right now we don't want to handle them too much. Uh, they're still very, very young. And we, we come in probably with about three, four times a day and spend about half an hour with them, pick them up, do their neurological work with them, do their feet, things like that. And then the rest of the time we come in, we're in here and we're more spending time with Ripple uh, and not handling the puppy so much as just simply observing them. We still weigh them every couple of days, but uh, I think we can probably dispense with worrying about their weight gain and uh, back off on that. Ripple hates it when we weigh them. She's, she gets quite agitated if they're removed from the box. Um, so it's, we may as well keep her calm and keep them calm. But I think it's safe to say that Ripple's pretty relaxed and she's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty much have a really calm mom and not at all stressed because that's one of the reasons why these puppies are gaining so well. Because six puppies is a lot of puppies for a small mini like the Meg Ripple is. Ripple hasn't lost any weight. She's in great shape. Her coat's not falling out at all. Um, and like I said, she has lots of energy. So we are just delighted with this litter and so pleased with their progress. And uh, all of you who are on Ripple's reservation list, you're going to have one cute puppy. And uh, I can't, watch to, can't wait to continue to watch this litter develop. Now, if you've got any questions, especially about the patterns and why did we do a dual sired litter or why is it that... Uh, I say Smoochers puppies will have a darker coat and, and Trips will not. Or if you have any questions about how we're going to be doing things in the future with the puppy, just please post them all in the comments below. Uh, just let us know in the comments too that you enjoyed the video or if there's something else you'd like us to add to the videos, some other information that we are, are not sharing with you. Sometimes we, we have all the information and we think we're sharing it, but uh, perhaps we're forgetting something that you'd really be interested in knowing about. So just let us know if there's something else you'd like us to add and please if you have a moment give us a thumbs up on the video and uh, we really look forward to seeing you again next week for our week two update and maybe we'll see some eyes thanks so much for watching